Oh, he's right there.
Oh, we got the last one. Mm hmm. Watch this. Hello, this is Stumpy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. And another video inside of Stumpy's lovely world. And today in this video, we are going to be getting beautiful. <laughs> and I'm going to be joined in this video by Mr. Elfily. And woof woof, and a big pile of Mr. Elfley's equipment. <laughs> Lee, are you there? Is anybody home? Hello, Lee. Good morning. Wait, stay still, stay still, Lee. Oh, I was going to go and try to steal the cake without picking up all of the, the other stuff. <laughs> Speaking of cake, you know what I want, Lee? Dum 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 down in one. That's the way Snappy Cat does it. <laughs> and I was in this video going to be joined by... Is anyone around here? Any other people in my house? Oh, oh, who's this? That isn't Henry or Hilda hanging out in their room. Who <laughs> have I found in Hilda? That's Hilda. I'm also going to be joined by Ash in this video, as well as someone else, some slippery fella, uh, who I'm sure is going to be showing up at some point in the video. I'm having to look out the window here to see if I can spot him. <laughs> he normally has lions, though. I'm also going to be joined by Henry as well. I'm not sure where Henry is at the moment. We've been trying to find him. And oh, here he is. He's just hanging out. That's where he was last video, just hanging out on the, uh, the wrong side of the railing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to very quickly uh, put down just uh, a few blocks, just in case he is stuck. And then hopefully he's going to be, be able to escape. There you go, Henry. You can run free. You can run free whenever you want. Run free, or just stand there doing nothing. Whatever you want to do, Henry, it's up to you. <laughs> anyway, let's go and uh, add someone to the, the love garden through here. And if you don't know what the love garden is, uh, it's basically a place where uh, I add someone's name and a sign and give them a shout out and uh, say thank you to them for some reason. And uh, today I am adding, hopefully I'm pronouncing this right, uh, Sarah Sultan. Uh, sorry if I got your name wrong, but uh, she drew me an amazing picture of me. And when I say me, I mean the real me, not the Stampy Cat me. And I'm going to leave as a, as a, um, a link in the description, a uh, link to a video where you can see the picture she based her drawing on. But I thought it was absolutely amazing. So I want to say a very big thank you and welcome to my love garden. And I get quite a lot of people asking me about uh, how to get added to my love garden. And the thing I always say is to try and uh, come up with something original. Don't look at what other people... Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear that working away? <laughs> on the, uh, the anvil. Yeah, try to do something original. Uh, original. Don't look at what uh, other people have done. And instead, uh, yeah, try and come up with a, a new and exciting way uh, to be added to the love garden. But you're not allowed to ask. That's the only rule. You're not allowed to ask to be added. <laughs> anyway, you might be wondering why I haven't decided to pick a dog. And that's because today I'm taking Fluffy. And the Fluffy doesn't live in the, the dog house. Fluffy lives down here the inside of the uh, the pet pet shop. So Fluffy, uh, you can join me here for uh, today's video. And oh, Lee's thrown something cool to me. What's Lee thrown me? Uh, Lee's super spectacular sword. Thanks very much, Lee. That's very kind of you. I'm only joking. I know you're not giving it to me. I know you just wanted to show it to me. I've got my own sword anyway. I got diamond sword. I'm going to have to uh, come up with my, my own name. <laughs> Fishy feet fountain, I guess we can call that Lee while you're 
right hand side there. Hello, Squid Nugget. How are you doing today? Are you okay? Oh, you're here keeping guard. Squid's there keeping guard at the front just to make sure no googlies come in. We actually had uh, quite a lot of trouble with googlies uh, in the in the last video. They were all over the place, uh, but Lee did an amazing job uh, keeping them at bay. So hopefully that's going to be the same here with a uh, squid on guard rather than Lee. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build like a, a big boot here. And I'm going to do it all out of uh, this dark blue and uh, light blue wall. And that way it's going to be kind of uh, sticking with the, the whole water theme. Kind of like a, a big wave, I guess. Uh, and that's what the, the thing's going to look like. And then there's going to be a button down on the side down here somewhere. Uh, which is what you're going to press to, to start the, the water dropping. And uh, then we're going to probably put some, some glowstone on the floor just to, to light the whole thing up. And then just uh, a wooden or a wooden or an iron door at the front just to, uh, to stop the water spilling all over the place. Because, <laughs> yeah, even though there is water kind of everywhere, at the moment it's kind of contained. And so I don't want it to be uh, spilling all over the place. So uh, let me go just place these last few blocks in here. And I've almost run out of a coloured wall already. I need to place that one on there and then that one up there. And then this is, this is kind of what it's going to look like from the front. But that's going to be down like that then. This is where the, the door is going to be. And I need to grab a little bit more wall just to, to go and fill in. What's this here? Oh, there's a nice little shower down here. Well, it's like a little test. Oh, Squid's down there. I didn't even see you down there, Squid. <laughs> Squid's just having a little practice go with me. I think uh, that's just a little warm up before he uses the main fire. And all the ashes here wallowing in the water. Come cool down. Ash dubs water cooler cost one fish. I got some competition here. I'm trying to build my spa. Squid's building a little spa down here, and so is Ash. <laughs> We got a little bit of competition. You should build one as well, Lee. What's Lee built? Uh, fishy beach fountain. So you can sit down here and you dangle your, your feet uh, in the fountain and then fish come and suck on your feet and that's apparently a good thing, supposedly. <laughs> don't ask me. I didn't actually come up with that. That is a, a real thing that, that people actually do. So I don't know. Ask your parents why they do that. But that is a thing people do. <laughs> anyway, let's go put some some glowstone on the, the floor down here just so I can uh, see what I'm doing. And I'm going to put in the, the dispenser. And it should be quite simple. I basically just need to, to link up some, some redstone to the dispenser. So uh, as you press the uh, the button, some, some water's going to go and come out. So I think I need to uh, place a block there and put a redstone torch uh, on top of that. And then that will hopefully power the, the dispenser. That is the plan. So let me just go uh, make a very quick crafting table. Uh, I always make a whole load of crafting tables. But <laughs> uh, it doesn't really matter. I don't think I need one, actually. All I'm doing is making a redstone. Let's just make a, uh, a few of them. And then once I've built this, I'll go over to, to where Lee is and I'll build the, the doobie doobie thing down there. Right, I'm going to place it so it's like, oh no, I didn't need to do it like that. I want to place it so it's kind of just standing up, I think it might need to be. Uh, but don't ask me, I'm no redstone master. Then if we do uh, another one directly underneath it, if I do another one there, and then I need to, to go around here and uh, link up some redstone uh, through here. And then this is where the, the button is going to be. So if, I think if I do some, I just put some redstone dust on the, the floor down there, and then put a block there, and then I can put one on top of it, which can have a sign that just says, like, press here to beautify. Hopefully, uh, that's going to power the dispenser. So all I need to do now is go and get a, a bucket of water, and I think I have quite a few in here. Here we go. If I go grab a bucket of water, and I go and put that uh, inside the, the dispenser up here, and then I'm going to do a quick test of uh, pressing a button just to, to make sure it is actually working. I don't actually think I need a crafting table to make a button. No, there we go. I can just make a, a quick wooden one here. And right, hopefully if I press that button, the water's going to come out. What I should probably do, though, is I try and block off some of the redstone, though, because otherwise the, the water's going to come out and it's just going to destroy all of the redstone that I just placed. And that would be much fun. So let's go and uh, fill all of this in. And then I do a quick test to go in. Hopefully it's going to work. I think I need to fill in the back here as well, like this. Uh, there we go. This is kind of like a little shower. And hopefully if I press the button... There we go. All the water's coming out and spilling everywhere. No, this is not 
I can have another side here to say press here to beautify, but I'm not too worried about that for now. And yeah, let's go, let's go and start building the, the jacuzzi then, shall we, Lee? I think if I go, I'll put down some, oh no, I didn't put that there, let's get rid of that. I hope you're not going to muck up the water, all good. I'm going to put down some, some dark blue wall there, so I might put some glowstone underneath here, just to make it look like it's all nice and toasty and heated. And let's sort of carry on building this round here, kind of how you were anyway. And uh, yeah, let's go and uh, build a nice little jacuzzi. So, uh, the last thing I need to do is go and fill up some pockets so I can fill it up. And I think I need to get uh, one more piece of uh, wall as well. I think we should have some in here. We've got some in here, Lee, actually. Uh, we've got some, some buckets uh, of water right in here. And I need some, some more dark blue wall, which should be in here. And uh, if you don't mind me, what's going on over here? Jump in here and don't move. This is squeeze slide, apparently. Okay. Not the most extreme slide I've seen, but let's give it a go, shall we? <laughs> that's quite gentle, that's quite quite nice and soothing actually. <laughs> oh, no, let me just go and steal uh, a little bit of your water. Don't, don't mind me, I'm just stealing a little bit of your water, you've got plenty. And then uh, let's go and uh, fill up my, my jacuzzi with it then, shall we? So go and place some down there. And uh, I've got, well, I've got loads of buckets on me here, let's go and place some down in that corner down there. There we go, here's our nice jacuzzi, don't need to come up with the name of it. Tell you what, since um, the last update they've added carpet. If we put carpets around the outside, they could be like cushions, and then we could call it the, the Cozy Coozy. Like the Cozy Jacuzzi, the Cozy Coozy, is that a good name? <laughs> Maybe not, but let's call it that anyway. Right, if I go and, um, I got the wall on the anyway, let me go and try and make carpets. I've actually never made carpets before, so I don't actually know uh, where you go to make them. Here they are, in decoration. Let's go and make a whole load of them, and uh, a whole load of the, the dark ones as well. And uh, I don't need any more wally, and then uh, what I do is I just do like it alternating the other pattern. So if I go and place, place the, the light wall and all the dark blue wall, and then do the, the same the other way around, it should be just a, a quite a, a cool, funky pattern. Check that out! I kind of like the look of that. There's the, the cozy koozie that is down there. <laughs> so here we are. I think it's all completely done now. I think we've, we've built everything that we, we needed to, to build in here. So um, yeah, I guess we can. all we need to do now is go and uh, relax and use everything. I'm going to go and... Um, uh, get rid of uh, a whole load of my uh, unwanted items. I've got loads of buckets of water in here and I don't need a uh, bunch of them. Let's go and uh, dump all of that stuff down in here and uh, lighten our, our pockets up a little bit. And uh, let's, I know what we should do. We need to, we need to get some fish. We need to get some, some fish for the, the, the fishy fountain. I've actually got a, a fishing rod on me here. I guess we could uh, just go out here and uh, go and uh, grab a few fish. It'd be good to have uh, quite a few of them. Then we can just go and uh, uh, throw, them, throw them down inside of the, the fishy fountain. And uh, yeah, then we can go and uh, dangle our feet down in there. I dangle my, my paws in there and uh, the fish can go down. Look at that! I caught a fish already! That's that's not bad going. Right, let's see if I, if I catch a, a couple of fish and if you go grab some as well. There we go! I got another one as well! Look at this speed fishing! I might be able to set a record here for catching the most fish in a minute or something. I've got two almost instantly. Can I get another one? New fish in three, two, one! Oh, oh no, I was trying to get lucky. Sometimes if you just do an artificial count, and there we go, three fish. That was pretty speedy, I will be honest. <laughs> and so I can go and throw these uh, in, the, in the fountain, and, and uh, yeah, then we can go to the, the fishy fish fountain. I might just uh, put a little um, a little chest next to it, uh, and then that way, that's where we can uh, we can store all of our all of our fish. So we go uh, place that down there. And I might lighten up, but I might do some some glowstone here as well. If I do a uh, glowstone in each of the uh, the four corners, uh, that will kind of glow the uh, light. Uh, Squid, would you like to, to volunteer to use the, the beautiful? 
fire. No, 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 no. You stay sitting down there, Fluffy. I saved you there, Squid. I saved you. <laughs> no, it's come on, come on. Get along, guys. Get along. Uh, Squid, if you follow me through here, uh, you can have the, the first test to go. You're privileged. You're privileged to be the first person to be able to use it. Uh, so, yeah, if you just let yourself in there, go stand uh, uh, on that piece of glowstone. Uh, I just need to, to hop round here, and if I press this button, uh, hopefully, assuming that my rest don't actually work, there should be a, a whole load of uh, water trickling down on him. And then uh, I give him a little bit of time. I think I'm, I'm going to give Squid a, a little bit more time than the, than the others. But uh, for no other reason than because you're going first, Squid. And if I press the button again, hopefully, Squid is going to come out looking even more beautiful than he did when he went in. Hopefully, I haven't washed his, uh, his hat off. And it works. Oh, oh, you look beautiful, darling. <laughs> you're hardly even recognizable, Ballistic Squid. <laughs> Um, come out, madam. I mean, sir, I mean, I don't even know. Um, your new look. Do, do you like your new look, Squid? Are you happy with your new look? You don't like it. Right, do you want to go back in, then? And then we'll have another go, and then we'll see what we're, what it's going to end up looking like. Oh, I did not expect that. Squid is not going to be happy. Hopefully, he doesn't ask for his money back. Actually, wait, then again, he didn't even pay, so I suppose it doesn't really matter. <laughs> right, I'm going to give him a, a little bit more uh, time in there, this go, and hopefully uh, something good is going to come out. And uh, yeah, let's, that should be long enough. Let's go and press the button. Oh, I can engage her now. I think uh, I left it on for a little bit too long that time. Right then, Squid, do you want to you wanna come out and we can see what your, your new look is going to be? Oh, he looks exactly the same, right? I guess he, he needs a, a little bit more time in there. <laughs> let's go turn it back on and just uh, uh, leave it going for a little while. For a little while and hopefully uh, he is going to come out looking beautiful. And then after that, we can all have uh, our own go going in and uh, see what we're going to gonna end up looking like. Right, that should be long enough. Now uh, I've turned it off. You want to come out now, Squid? You want to come out and hopefully look even more beautiful? Oh, that's a that's certainly a, a, a change. That's certainly very different. Um, <laughs> uh, what happened to all your tentacles? Right, I think it's time that someone else had a go. Uh, did you want to have a go, Ash? Did you want to have a, have a go on the, the beautifier and see what you're going to uh, end up looking like? Right, if I put him in there, once again, if I just go and turn on the water, uh, that should all be trickling down now. And the, the magic beautifying water uh, should be enough to, to change him to make him look uh, absolutely beautiful. So uh, that should be long enough. Let me go and press the button again. Do you want to come out now, Ash? And then we can see what your your ended up looking like. Uh, here he comes, and he... Oh, um, it certainly made you look different, Ash. That, that, that's for sure. You certainly don't look the same as you did when you went in. More beautiful might be uh, a slight stretch, but <laughs> certainly you look very different. If, if you were walking down the street, Ash, I would have a second look. That, that, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> right, Lee, do you want to have a go then? What's it going to make Lee end up looking like? You, you probably want to take your, your leggings off before you go in there. You don't want to get uh, all your, your trousers soggy when you want your inside. Day. I'll hold on to them for you. I'll hold on to your clothes. Uh, you can go inside of the, uh, the beautifier. And uh, yeah, we can see what, what Lee's going to... I want my go! I want my go! I want to have a go going inside of the future. 